magic prayer. This person can even beg for another chance because they can realize that they messed up but it doesn't seem to be the case if we look at the situation from your perspective the magic prayer maybe was about the opportunity to fulfill a wish in a love connection even a marriage and unfortunately the outcome uh, didn't pay dividends and so your openness kind of queen of pentacles uh, cannot be granted anymore in favor of this person encouragement well it speaks for itself guys in a situation like this one hi guys welcome to the channel quick general love reading for my friends gemini sun moon rising and venus whenever you watch this take what resonates and leave what doesn't if you resonate let us know like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for the support so guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Lovarina. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Bottom of the deck, Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation. Ask your angels. There is something better. Let go. And communicate clearly, bottom of the deck. So, let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies. Here we go. So your energies, Ace of Swords, communicate clearly, 100%. Queen of Swords, even more. The Tower and the Seven of Wands. Your person's energies, Five of Wands, Two of Cups, Queen of Cups, Justice. Meeting energies, High Priestess, Three of Swords, Two of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Our focus, the Empress, and the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. Beautiful energy, also because we have the Two of Cups, guys, but unfortunately, I have to say that this flow can describe an ending. So if we follow the Wedding Rings Oracle card, some of you can be married. Your partner may have made a mistake that is going to cost them a lot. The justice can be, at the very least, a right and fair decision that this person is going to face, but it can also be about legal matters if you are indeed married. For some of you, the tower is the crumbling down of a situation that you may have thought could have been a wish granted, but in the meeting of the energies, we have the Three of Swords, which is about a broken heart. Also, a broken vow when it comes to trust and honesty within a partnership the man in the five of swords the one in green and red is holding three swords so this person that can still have deep feelings for you guys kinda fell for an outsider 
the five of wands in this flow is about competition then the competition factor may have brought or can still bring gossip towards some of you guys people keep talking they can say what they like always quoting one of the Alicia Keys songs but in this case it's a source of discomfort because we are talking about rumors you know they made a mistake in the love arena they were not able to follow their heart because their heart may have suggested to them that it was safe to protect your connection they didn't pay attention they kinda juggled two situations it was a secret guys high priestess you know but then because of the tower divine bolt landing on the situation secrets out and for some of you it becomes a matter of integrity seven of wands standing up refusing the ones that the man is facing they can be kind of the same ones in the five because what if this person can try to bring uh, excuses you know or some type of explanation you are not buying it queen of swords and the ace of swords is the energy about truth and clarity that can allow some of you guys to put a closing point kind of breaking the loop that we can find in the two of pentacles the empress as our focus uh, basically can go two ways it can be the realization that this love cannot grow anymore because unfortunately this person messed up and what if the empress is the third person because the empress can be also like a seducer you know according to the scenario so guys let's see a couple of energies i am curious about the queen of cups for your person because the queen of cups is a beautiful energy about the ability to recognize genuine and sincere intentions uh, within an interaction but it seems that this person was not able to pay attention to their heart the emperor a match for the empress but this is about taking action guys six of wands they were thinking that victory was available for them but they are going to pay a price instead for their actions four of wands they can lose a marriage my goodness so unfortunate let's see the seven of wands for you because this person can still say that they want to be with you it seems difficult queen of pentacles nurturing and caring but it's like no more queen of swords recurrent energy and the six of pentacles unfair behavior coming from this person one man up one man down dynamic and some of you are calling them out double queen of swords plus the ace the truth of the queen of swords this person is not going to like it let's see the five of swords guys in the meeting because um i would say that this person can struggle to let go of the connection because they can say that uh, they can regain points please forgive me because it will not happen again but for some of you the very fact that the betrayal basically already happened there is no going back the lovers it's a heart over head decision for some of you it's a crossroads 100 percent but what was sacrificed is the two of cups truly unfortunate 
this person may have fallen for an interaction that was kinda able to please their ego they made a huge mistake and the outcome that they can get sees involved the five of pentacles feeling left out in the cold shaky foundations that's why the tower um, falls down but the shaky foundations guys can be about a poor decision coming from this person they didn't think or they thought with their second brain you know because maybe someone from the outside pleased them and now now there is a big price for that the ask your angels oracle card is the a priestess which should be a combination of energies let's say that can be an encouragement in favor of you guys in order to trust your gut trust your intuition if you decide that this connection even this marriage um, is about to end it means that the situation is beyond repair let's ask for guidance considering these energies here we go we get slow and steady well the saying slow and steady wins the race I would say that I would say that some of you are not going to act quickly because it can be a matter of gathering knowledge kind of realizing what's going on and then there is the decision to call out the person and also the situation basically it is also possible that this person has entertained the third party for a while because we have the cycle in the two of pentacles it was something that was brewing kinda slowly but at some point again secrets out strength it's an encouragement in favor of you guys it can be a matter of flexibility also following the fairy lady uh, because if this is a marriage you may have practicalities that um, you have to take care of and uh, this can require a smart approach and the queen of swords is perfectly able to um, provide it but also a little bit of patience magic prayer this person can even beg for another chance because they can realize that they messed up but it doesn't seem to be the case if we look at the situation from your perspective the magic prayer maybe was about the opportunity to fulfill a wish in a love connection even a marriage and unfortunately the outcome uh, didn't pay dividends and so your openness kind of queen of pentacles uh, cannot be granted anymore in favor of this person encouragement well it speaks for itself guys in a situation like this one those of you that are still here watching you can power through it does it mean that uh, it's easy no i cannot be the person that sugarcoats these energies they are a disappointment but there is still the necessity to gather energies and courage in order to overcome the test because for me the tower can still um, represent also the path to the star and unfortunately if this person fell for a third party scenario maybe there was no real star within the connection because they were 
they were not able to give the proper value, the proper importance to your partnership. And this is a um, difficult, harsh and sad realization. But, you know, guys, the alternative seems to be like an illusion, you know, kind of like we pretend that everything is fine when in reality it is not. And solitude kind of makes the point even better than my English. Some of you are going to take a moment for yourself in order to regroup because then you power through this situation even if this means that this person is going to be left behind and we are moving towards singlehood basically but The only way out is through and bone collector is an energy that for me is about someone that has gone through a lot indeed um, learning curve silver linings also there is like a wheel of fortune type of clock near the lady and it seems that this chapter is basically over Plus we have two skeletons in the card and so it can be about that. So guys, again, the only way out is through. Unfortunately, this person messed up big time. They blew the situation up. And they are going to pay a price for it. They cannot avoid it. So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.